Hi guys, welcome back, and today we are continuing as a lucid campaign in RTR Imperium Sorectum. And just look at our glorious empire right now from the Horn of Africa all the way north into, I guess, modern day Pakistan, pretty much as well, into the central stands in Asia and Afghanistan, and of course. Yes, all the way through Turkey, into Greece now as well. Fantastic, glorious, 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 I've got to say. Absolutely glorious seeing this empire grow. Now, I'm going to use some of my money to build some men in Deliche. I don't believe I've got anyone else recruiting around here apart from, yeah, the cataphract army. <laughs> here it comes. Uh, but yeah, we've got plenty of armies on the way, guys, which is really good. But because we are on episode 40, we are going to have a very nice little bit of fun with a toggle fog of war. We've not done that for a little while. So let's see how the AI has been doing. And we can already see, oh my god, the Sirachis are chunky. Look at those boys. Let's go start from the far north east, right across. So the Sarka, they do exist, kind of. <laughs> they have literally... They have been turtling this whole game. Um, and I don't mind that. That's fine. Now, while we're here, we might as well have a look at some of these settlements. Let's get our guy there so that we can actually see it. There are actual settlements in here. So there's like one there. There's a few through this way. There's actually a couple up there. But that's, of course, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> some random named settlement. Um... But yeah, there's a few settlements down through the mountains here. We might want to go and take them at some point. They're just so far away that it's it's really probably not worth it. But this is where we want to get into soon, is into India, into the Indus Valley. Um, and just start having a good time in here. We'll take Taxila. That will be our sort of base of operations in India. And we're going to come down the Indus River and just start taking... As much of this land as possible. Because it's really rich land. And it can be really rich land if you get it all upgraded. You know, there's a lot of large towns in here. Which is very nice. Of course, Bactria is dead now. So we don't need to look at them. Parthia just exists as our servants. Uh, for now. They do have a scary army there though. <laughs> but yeah, Parthia of course is our, is our guys. And honestly, it's not going to be long before the Sirachis start poking the noses in business that they have... Nothing to do with. Now, in terms of Armenia and Cappadocia, we can see Cappadocia has this region here, which we could already see. And we already knew they had this one. Now, out of the rest of the regions... Oh, they do actually have a third region. Right up here. So, they do have three regions. So, we're going to have to walk back around that way, will we? I mean, they're blocking the way. We'll have to walk through that way, take that one and that one. And we'll send you, once we've taken that Armenian settlement here... We'll send you back to take that one. And then we're going to start getting into the juicy stuff around the lakes in here. They've got three little settlements down there. Atropatine is still our ally. And I expect them to be so for a little bit longer. Hopefully, touch wood. Armenia has come all the way up to the north, though. Which is a bit better land, to be honest. But here is the Sirachis. So, are they? Oh, no, they're there. They're right there. So, they don't actually have this one on the coast. But I really don't want to border them if I can help it. Because having a war with them right now is just not worth it. And look how big they have become. Like, I know it's not a load of settlements. But, like, they've been turtling a bit as well. Like, look how many large cities they have. This one doesn't even have a wall. Like, <laughs> they've built some big cities. They've been taking quite a bit of land. So, they're quite scary. And honestly... Not someone we really want to take on. The Bosporans, on the other hand, they've only just kind of got the Crimean Peninsula together. Still not taken Kerkenitis over here. They've taken a bit in the north, but I'm guessing they will be fighting the Sirachis at the minute or very soon. It doesn't look like they're that bothered about them for now. So, yeah, interesting. Right, let's come over to Greece. And there's one thing on the map that's quite big, isn't there? <laughs> Wow, wow, the Gete. That is some empire that they have going right now. That really is something to behold. 
out of all the nations that could have dominated this region, that is probably the one that I expected maybe least. Although, I'm probably thinking about 0.6. In this region, in 0.5, I guess they're the only one. So they've kind of expanded without anyone to bother them for quite some time. They are starting to now border Germanians and all that sort of thing. And the Celts in the Skordiski. Because down here in the center of the Balkans, uh, we have the Skordiski uh, having a good time. They're actually doing quite well, but they do look a bit surrounded now on all fronts. Because we have the RDAI over here. That, uh, yeah, they've also got a pretty nice empire, I've got to say. Pretty nice, all the way down the coast. All the way down to Epirus. And they've actually taken Apollonia. Uh, so they're right up on the border with Epirus. And it looks like Epirus might be... Uh, those two armies are probably vying for some sort of uh, war there, very much so. But let's look at Greece, then. This is who we're going to have to contend with when we come across. Are we actually... Yeah, we're at war with the Odrysians for no reason. I think that war's been going on for ages. Of course, Tylus is in here somehow surviving as well. That war has been going on for ages. Luckily, we don't border them because the Greek city-states who we're also at war with are just chilling. Like they're <laughs> This technically is a border of war, and apparently it's trading with my settlement. So that goes to show you that it's very much a cold war right now with the Adrissians. Uh, they've done quite well, the Adrissians, I've got to say. Not amazingly, though. Uh, they definitely could have taken some more, especially off the GCS. Uh, but, you know, if Tylus and the Gete decide to come down here, they're, they're going to be screwed, really. Tylus has settlements over here as well. What are they doing? Why is their land... Well, I guess it's not split, but weird anyway. <laughs> the Antigonids are still the dominant power over here. Epirus has taken a couple of settlements, uh, including this one up here, because they do start at war with the Antigonids. But they really haven't ma managed to make a lot of inroads. Maybe, no, Ambrock is the capital. Uh, Stratos, they might have taken Stratos, but I'm not too sure. The Aetolian League still exists for all you Aetolian stands out there. Still going strong. Same as the Boeotian League, a bit weaker than it, than it once was, I believe. Or am I talking about 0.6 again? Maybe 0.6 again. Athens still exists, but they are alone. Um, the uh, Antigonids have taken this island now, which is great for them. And down here where we're fighting Sparta, Sparta does indeed only have one more settlement. And uh, it is Messene, which uh, is quite appropriate if you know the history of Sparta. The Achaean League is in here as well. They've actually taken f uh, three settlements, Olympia, Elis, and Sicyon, which is quite good for them. So they're probably the option we're going to go for next once we've killed Sparta is go straight in for the Achaean League and see whether we can kill them. And then look to rid the Peloponnese of the horrible Antigonid influence. And really just turn all these Greeks against each other. That's our plan anyway. So we've had a look at Greece. Uh, every, who's on Crete? Oh, <laughs> of course we own Crete. Yep. <laughs> Kyrene, by the way, still exists and is still our ally. Even after we've taken all of uh, North... Uh, <laughs> Uh, North Africa here, uh, Northern Egypt, or should I say Lower Egypt. Uh, the Carthaginians have made their way a little bit along the coast, but they are not exactly doing fantastically against the Numidians. I mean, it looks like they have been at war with them because that definitely looks like a Numidian, um, was a previously a Numidian settlement. But yeah, they... <laughs> They really, that, if you're playing as Carthage, guys, don't do this. Take these guys out early. They don't have good units either, so that's not a problem. They still hold on to Sardinia and Corsica and the Balearic Isles, and they still have their foothold in southern Spain. Honestly, that's very surprising because normally they tend to lose this, and they have cut a hole in the, in second Numidia <laughs> over here, and it looks like they are fighting a bit of a war with them. But what's, what is with Carthage and such weak armies going around? They don't seem to have any big armies. <laughs> like, look at this. That's not going to kill that army, is it? So, I don't know what they're doing. But they seem to be trying to take out... Uh, oh, look, Syracuse as well. Seems to be trying to take out the Numidians anyway. Syracuse has actually done a naval invasion of Melite, which is awesome to see. And Syracuse owns nearly all of Sicily. Apart from just uh, Masana, 
from the Romans. So I don't know whether they're allied or what the what the thing is there. But seeing uh, Syracuse over there is actually very, very nice. I would love to see them invade Carthage. How funny would that be? And how cool would it be? Let's have a look at the Romans then. They have done what they normally do, it seems. <laughs> is stack up armies in the north and not actually go and attack anyone. Looks like they might be fighting the boy. And they have come all the way up to the border with Massalia, but they haven't done really very much, have they? They need to come on. Take take this land, Rome. Come on, take this land. This is this is rightfully Roman land, my friend. And this is definitely the Arverni, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I was thinking, why are the Romans there? But that's Arverni. Um But then up here for the Celts, let's have a look. This is like a big of bit of a battle royale. The Allobroges still exist. And that's also quite surprising. Same as Massalia, really. I'd expect Massalia to kind of die by this point, at least. The Arverni have southern uh, southern France. Um, nice, quite a nice little uh, Gallic empire there. And sandwiched between the Belge and the Arverni is the Vol... Not the... Uh, the Adui, should I say. The Adui. They've done quite well as well, but it's just a big battle royale up here in the Celts, isn't it? The Belge doing very nicely. They probably got the biggest Celtic Empire. Very good indeed. But they just start in a fantastic situation. We've got the Volkai over here. They also have a pretty nice... All the Celts have big empires. It looks like the Chatti are the weakest of them all. But they've got some big armies on the way. But then the Germanics... The Chatti, are they Celtic or Germanic? Let's have a look. I think they're a mixture of both. But I'm not exactly sure. They probably Germanic then looking at all their... Uh, yeah, they're, they, it looks like they're converting to Germanic. We've got the Kimbri up here, who are doing okay. They're doing fine. They've managed to take Denmark, pretty much, apart from Nui Thonium. So, yeah, they're doing okay. Uh, but, yeah, the Suebi are quite weak, because they've got the big boys next to them. The Lugii doing very well. And somehow the boy still have this little outcropping here. They haven't managed to get it together because of the Insubres. But that would be awesome to see. If they manage to connect their lands, that would be epic. I'm not going to lie. And then who's this red over here? What? <laughs> Why are the Alverni over here? They must have bribed that settlement or something. But that's a crazy, crazy thing. What? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why have you done this? And look at the Belge. Look at the Belge go. Go on, boys. They're invading Britain now. And... I mean, you've got to hand it to the Trinovantes. They've done nothing. So, <laughs> so the Belge are going to come in and do what the Trinovantes should have done ages ago. <laughs> and that's conquer Britain. Look, looks like uh, looks like it. The Lugii, like I say, are pretty large. Spreading out far into the east. Very spread out uh, settlements over here though. So not so valuable. But let's go into Spain then. And again, it's a pretty much a three-way tie. We see this very often. Uh, we've got, of course, the Editani. We've got the uh, Aravachi, the the Banes of Carthage when I was playing Carthage, and the Lusitanians. The Lusitanians still not cleaned up all this northern area, but yeah, it's a bit of a three-way battle there, isn't it? And Carthage, I'm assuming Calpe must have rebelled against them, because I'm sure you start with that. But they've got a big enough. That's one of the biggest Carthaginian armies we've actually seen. <laughs> So, nice. Well, yeah, looking good. The map is looking good. And we are by far the biggest stain on the map. Look at us. Just the size of us is massive. And once we've taken all of this, it'll be an unbroken line. If we were playing EU4, our name would be huge. And that's, uh, if anyone... <laughs> that's what Paradox Games are all about, guys. Is making your name as big as possible. That's all they're about. But anyway, yeah. Nice little bit of a uh, Greece. We know what's going on. And let's just check. Yeah, yeah, Armenia. You know, they've got a few of these settlements. I think we know where all of them are. And it's not too hard to find where they are in this north. They're just up against the mountains. Um, I mean, bordering the Sarachis won't be great. But we might just have to do it just to clean up this whole area. And maybe try and get a ceasefire with them. Well, anyway, let's uh, toggle the uh, fog of war back off. There we are. Gone dark now. We've gone dark. And I think we are at the end of the turn. I don't believe we've got anything else to do. I don't think this battle can be done. No, it can't. 
that's fine. And uh, we've got this army coming up that's going to replace a few garrisons and let us move out again. These, you know, these armies are getting pretty battered. But I feel like we've just, we just have enough, especially if we get mercenaries, to beat the Armenians and the Cappadocians, definitely. So, and uh, interestingly enough, Cappadocia is not in Cappadocia anymore. They have run away from there because we kicked them out of there. So we have forced them to migrate further east and north uh, than where actual Cappadocia is, <laughs> which is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, our empire now is just gigantic, which is great. Uh, do love that. I love to see it. And uh, yeah, I think we are making the most out of everything that we, uh, that we can, really. So that's good. Free peoples. How is your turn? And there we go. Sclisthenes. No, you're 39. Definitely not suitable. You need to be about 20, my friend. And then we will let you be a husband. Uh, Big Bertha. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a settlement's called Bertha. <laughs> Achaeus the Cruel has died, and he has a 50-year-old replacement. Well, that's not great. Uh, a foul Spartan has wormed his way into the affections of our people. He's been executed. Okay, that's all right then. That's fine. As long as he's been executed, that's all that care, all that we care about. Let's uh, get that in there. Karakata again rioting. Not fantastic. We do. We should probably get the Odeon. It's rioting because of public disorder, I'm guessing. But it's nearly fully Greek now. Let's get that. Let's just uh, recruit one Akontistai, and that should be enough. I know it's a bit pointless, but it should be enough. Faction announcements. So Lucas is an honest man. Uh, Python the lewd. He is a mentor. He has a mentor. Probably trying to tell him to stop being so lewd, to be honest. Uh, Antioch, right. Let's make sure we queue in one of you. I don't get where all this money is going. Like, surely I've not got that many queued up buildings? And you can see, when I press this, it does take the money off already, so... When you've got queued up buildings, that all the money's already taken, right? So where is all that money going then? It's saying 198,000. I don't know. Very strange. Yeah, see, look at that. Estimated balance, 382,000 next turn. We've got to keep an eye on that next uh, next turn. Keep an eye on what's going on there. Thieves were still recruiting those guys. That's fine. And then we'll do our construction in a little bit. We got you. Oh, we didn't check for the Ptolemies. We didn't check where they are. <laughs> They're down here somewhere, though. We know that, at least. We got rebels just there having a good time. Uh, not exactly fantastic. And down right into the far south. Three more turns until the recruitment is done. That's fine. So we've got this little battle to do. How are we doing for these reinforcement troops? They're on the way. What are we actually building in here? Because ideally we want a public order building. Because this army needs to go back ASAP. So we've got a shrine to Hera. Um, that's fine. Let's see if we can get... Oh, we've got an Odeon now. So we should be able to leave there actually next turn when our guys come. Now let's sort out our armies down here. Now I believe we can probably remove one of you from yes. this one. Uh, and we'll send you actually up to there. So hopefully we can remove you. Looks like we can. In fact, go for Sinope. Uh, because we've got a Galatian guy in there, haven't we? Where did the music go again? Seems to just keep going. I don't know why. It keeps seeming to, to go. when some There must be something triggering it to stop. But I actually don't know what it is, of course. <laughs> All right, let's get out of Amicia then and drag her as the handsome. March. A handsome man. There we are. Get them in Amicia. And then from Amicia next turn, we'll start to uh, dish them out to everyone around us. Now, bit of a damaged army. But again, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem to take out Camisa. I didn't even look to see Pontus, like how much Pontus has left, but I'm assuming very much... That it's nothing. <laughs> we do have games here. So I wonder whether it's worth us just going. 
I mean, again, this army is absolute, just, just a mess. But it's our mess, isn't it, guys? It's our mess. It's our mess of an army. And it will still be strong enough to beat other armies out there. I mean, if we leave... Uh, are we building here? No. Let's... If we build that, I believe we'll be fine for a turn. So, that's fine. And then, where do we want to go? We've got to pick out the settlements. So, Cappadocia down here. It's going to take you ages. You have to go round that way. Let's go to this one. Uh, no, in fact... Well, you're going there, so you can go to that one. So let's us go to the more northern ones. So we'll go straight through to uh, Gymnias. And it is really a, a very uh, weird, not fantastic army. If we get some good mercenaries, we'll probably start to uh, get them in that army. That is a mercenary army anyway. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, you actually would be worth putting in an army, but... Unfortunately, nothing uh, nothing going for you, my friend. And yeah, that's good. We've got all those armies moving apart from Ant Antiochus. Uh, who we need some of these Amesian people. So we'll, we'll start moving you now. So you get up there. Weird how the rebels left that settlement. And then let's do our movement in Greece. Because we can't forget about Greece, my friends. Do not forget about Greece. Oh, we've got, uh, we've got our Acontisti on here as well. Fantastic. Did we finish recruiting the Acontisti? Let's have a look at where we were actually recruiting the Acontisti. So, you guys, let's get you in there. Hopefully, this will take less than a turn. Actually, not, but I think we'll be fine. Hopefully. I mean, if we, if we die, that would be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? So, you guys get in there. That'll be good. Uh, unfortunately, only 50%. Oh, dearie me. I'm assuming we can do games, though. Yeah, monthly games. That's fine. Uh, yeah, right. So, yeah, we were looking for the Acontisti. So, there. Yeah, we're still recruiting a few. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad we are recruiting a few of them. So, once we get them... We will send them across on this ship, ready to go, which will be fantastic. You, my friend, you are keeping on coming up here. Like I said, there is a settlement there. Oh, we can see it, so that's that's good. Glorious! Right, let's move. This army, like I say, can't quite move yet. We are recruiting in here. Let's see if we can actually send two. Already, and then the other three can follow up. So, get in there. Hopefully, we don't get attacked by one of these Armenian armies. We might actually... We could actually go and destroy that army. This is such a good army that it's not going to be a worry at all. Very nice, indeed. What an army. So, good. Right, let's do our singular battle, then, of this turn. Let's do the siege of Orto Spana. We've got four of the old boys... Um, is it worth just auto-resolving this? I mean, it says it's so unbalanced. Now, I think... I mean, what's the walls? It's just wooden walls. So we can probably just do this with our cavalry. Because, like I said, they don't have much. They don't have anything, really, in the way of infantry. Oh! Yes, okay. <laughs> Oh, my finger slipped. Oh, no. Oh, dearie, dearie me. But anyway, 42. That's absolutely fine. I'll take that any day of the week. And it's a minor city as well. It's probably ready to upgrade, honestly, then. They've got the Bactrian recruitment. they also got large mines here. Fantastic. 2,000 gold from this bad boy, which is actually not even enough to uh, bring it positive. So let's get the... Let's get the roads in here as well. And we might actually... No, I don't think we can. I think we need back Zranka and maybe one or two of the settlements in here. Before we can um, start trading with this region. It's actually got a third colony Greek already. That's fantastic. Nice! That's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? Glorious. 
We're getting our garrison boys in there. We're also get probably can take some of the garrisons out of some of these regions. Like, let's uh, send you into here. And also the one from up this way. Make sure we have plenty of garrisons. You can both probably go. I oh, know you're in already in there. You can go. Get in there, my friend. So let's uh, let's do our building. And I've got a feeling this you know this episode might be a bit more of a uh, a management episode. You come and kind of get that though, don't you? Get a few episodes where it's a lot of battles. Then a few episodes where it's a lot of building. And that's kind of the phases that you get through the game and the mod anyway. Uh, but I love the campaign management, so I, I can't complain about it. I know some people just play Total War for the battles, but I 100% do not. Uh, I love the campaign management element. Get rid of you. We don't need you. I mean, some of these regions, they have a lot of people. So I don't think we need, like... Although, when that guy dies, maybe we will. So it's worth... Oh, we got some more troops in here as well. Where do we actually... I mean, you could actually send you as an army somewhere. Like, to take a, a rubbish settlement. Like, out in the sticks. I mean, how about Zranka? Like, I wonder how good that settlement is. Can two Thorakitai with some absolute trash munchers take it? Find out! <laughs> let's get... Let's get two Neocretan archers. They'll actually be able to join them in two turns. And that'll help. Uh, Anarza boss has now expanded. Good. Right then. Let's do our buildy builds. Buildy builds. I, I still need to work out where that money is going at the start of the turn. Like, plus 199. And then we start every turn with about 100k. Right. Stables. <laughs> We're using this trick everywhere, of course. This can't... If you've not seen my economy video, guys, on 0.6, you'll be pleased to know that uh, you can't use this trick anymore. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Let's get the Odeon in there. Actually, no, we've got a general, but he is quite old, but we'll get, a, we'll get an academy. It gives extra lore for the academy anyway, so it's quite good. Same for the academy here. Alexandria, Carmania. We've built... All the barracks apart from that one. Lycon Polis. I think probably Colony 4 is quite expensive. Uh, and you're also quite upset. So let's go for the Odeon just in case. Thyatera. Let's also potentially go for the Odeon here. Secret Police HQ will also be quite good. So let's get that. Smyrna. Let's go for... Standard stables. <laughs> Saros over here, that one. Uh, yeah, I mean, this law this law is just going to make us richer and richer, guys. Same with the river ports over here in Deskillion. Uh, did I press that? 218. That is fantastic. That's what we like to see. Glorious! Loranda. Uh, Loranda, let's get the Academy extra law and get that guy some extra traits. Now, happiness here might be an issue. We do have an Odeon right now. So, let's go for the Stables for Law. Also, he has reduced the cost of that fantastically. You must be a very good uh, very good uh, manager for, for cost. Katayon. Kiros. Let's go. Just using these law tricks, of course. It does replace the law with uh, the happiness. So, so it gives you 15% lore and removes 15% happiness. So you don't get any extra happiness from it. But that extra lore is just so good. So powerful. Get the Shrine to Taiki in there. Arados. Not that rich, actually. Some of these settlements are less rich than I would expect. Probably losing just so much of their money to corruption, to be honest. Uh, Salukia Pereria. Let's go for... I mean, we, we can't quite probably afford the dockyard right now in this region specifically. Um, just because, like I say, all our money disappears at the start of the turn. I don't know where that's going, <laughs> but it does seem to disappear. Uh, let's get that barracks, that last law barrack we can get. Biblos, same thing. Heliopolis, Syria. Let's see, how much corruption do these actually have? Yeah, they still got loads of corruption. So by doing this, we are making a lot of money. 
Um, Baroya. Let's have a look. Yeah, militia barracks as well. Uh, Sariesa. It's just uh, military buildings everywhere, it seems. Uh, Shrine to Taiki and Sariesa. Heropolis. Let's go for the Odeon just in case. Apamea Zugma. Let's go for the practice range. It's got the academy. Fantastic. That's lovely to see. Let's go for the crop rotation there then. Gauzana can now get the irrigation, but do you have corruption? You actually do still have corruption. Let's see how much that stables brings it down. Yeah, 153 for the cost of the building is fantastic. Uh, Akrabai, we've still got 60,000, so I don't need to be as, uh, as cautious. So let's start getting some extra different buildings in then. Melatine is a really nice little city. 3,500 it's making. Uh, I wonder then. Yeah, practice range again. <laughs> oh, dearie me, dearie me, dearie me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry that we're just building the same thing everywhere, but they are the best buildings right now. It's like when we went on that um, execution square sort of rampage where we're just building execution squares everywhere. Now <laughs> is the time to build all these law build these other law buildings everywhere. Philadelphia, IOP, Arsino, Clisma. Let's go maybe for Taiki. Memphis. Memphis. Potentially, actually, the uh, the academy again because we've got a governor there. Salamis. Let's go for those stables. Perfect. <laughs> Pelusion. Let's go for the irrigation in Pelusion. Uh, Amethus. Let's go stables again. Samos. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to pass up on that 15% law for a 1,000, guys. It's so, so cheap. Uh, I mean, we could get the catapult range. I don't think we're going to use it. Or we could get... Wait, why is the Pantheon so... What's happened? What has happened? What? Wait, let's... Ankisi's the thinker. How, how, how much does he reduce buildings by? I can't even speak right now. I don't care about your bodyguard, my friend. I care about your retinue. Right. 10% bonus trade income. Okay, that's great. It's making 4,000, so it's make, it's doing well. Orator, merchant. 10% more trade income. 60 build points. That's nothing. 10% on tax income. 5% dis discount on unit trade. So it's not in there. 15% discount on construction costs for energetic. Superior engineer, no, that doesn't do anything. Let's have a look. Surely there's something in here more than that. Yeah, hard worker, another 15. So that's 30% cost reduction. Two morale plus 50% bonus. Tax collection plus 30. Uh, no, none of that. There must be more than just 30%. Another 30, so 60%. Uh, tactician. 60%. It says poor trader, but he's got all the people to help him. Because that should be 10,000. <laughs> um, it, it's not just 60%. There must be some more in there from that, but I don't want to keep going through that, but and Kisis! What a man! <laughs> Can we just send you everywhere? Can you be everywhere at once, my friend? Making everything a thousand for the Pantheon. A thousand! Um, I mean... I mean, do we even need that, though? That's the one thing. Yeah, we do still need it for that silver weapon on the light weapon, I believe. Is it a light weapon? Or maybe the archers as well. Stuff like that. Ah, oh, well. But Ankisis, what a glorious, glorious man. Honestly, that is crazy. <laughs> crazy good. Tyana, let's have a look. <laughs> Military buildings. I'm sorry. I know I know it takes so long, guys. Some of you guys love this, though, and some of you don't like it. But anyway, uh, try Bactria. Let's get that inland trade center. Let's go for something different. Yes! Uh, Kamana, Cappadocia, yes. Large Temple of Hera. Tuion. Uh, Tuion. Probably worth, probably worth going for the Greek around this region now. 
Trying to get a bit of Greek in there. Kauris. Uh, yeah, we get law from this, but I don't think it's any more than we normally do. So let's go for the Temple of Hera as well. Bactria Zariaspa is getting that. Daraspa. Let's go for the stables, of course. <laughs> Polyrenia, same thing. Oxiana. Again, probably worth, because these like regions should be quite rich. Like That trade is really good. But yeah, you can see 231 just from the corruption reduction. Very nice. Uh, Bactria Basalion. Oh, let's go for that Spice Road. They always make absolute fortunes. 854. Very nice. Uh, Anisopolis. Let's go for those paved roads. Let's get the guys moving around this region a bit quicker. Sinope. Probably worth also going for the paved roads here. But the Shipwright is a good option as well. Although we have run out of cash. So maybe not the uh, Shipwright. And maybe something cheaper like the Sewers. Commander Pontos, we're going to have to go for cheap stuff now. Amisos Stables. <laughs> Amicia. Probably uh, Sewers. Uh, Lithonus Pergos, we're already building. Alexandria Caucasia. Yeah, probably worth getting Shrine to Hera in there. Nymphios. Definitely worth getting the roads here. Gordion's already building. Oh, Gordion. And then Bactria Zariaspa. And then the rest is just... Yeah, just re rebuilding stuff. Okay, well, that's okay then. I thought we were going to run out of money. We're back with about 7,000 again. So, yeah. Now I need to really pay attention to why all that money is going when we press the end turn this time. Like, where is that money going? So... Predicted balance at the start of next turn is 202,000. 202,000, guys. But our elephant's coming. I forgot about you. You just go and join them. Aesis. Or anyone else, actually. It doesn't matter. So it's, it's predicted 202,000, okay? Let's see what it actually is. Like, where, where is that money going? Because I'm sure before... It definitely was working. Like, it was showing the right amount. And like I say, I don't have many elite tax buildings. And those elite tax buildings, in fact, should. Um, I think uh, because I haven't updated it. Well, I have updated it. But because I haven't started a new campaign, they should not. They won't show. So I should get, be even getting more money than 202,000. This is all my diplomats and everything <laughs> moving around. Oh, yeah, we forgot about you as well. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Ermias. Who could forget the great man that is Ermias? Only me, apparently. There we go. And we still got more spies to move. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, armies. We, we might need to, a bit of retraining before we fight all of those armies, <laughs> to be fair. Because Armenia has just been sat still for a long time. So I am assuming that they have some pretty large armies. Um, so, okay, there goes Armenia. Not a problem. We'll go and siege down their city. They'll abandon the siege. Bit annoying that it's Ekbatana. But yeah, let's. I'm watching the money like a hawk. Come on, it's got to be... So it's gone down to 2,000 now. Oh, it is 195,000. So is it just me building these? I guess it's sorting out all of this stuff. This must make the money go away. <laughs> I, don't, I just didn't expect it to be so much money. It's quite a lot of money. <laughs> so, you um, yeah, Eumenion, no, named after Eumenes. Uh, no, not Eumenes. Eumenes. <laughs> Let's get that one uh, repaired first. It's Pecoras, but you're 52. You're even older. I told you, no. Uh, Alexandria Oikodomon. In fact, let's get that in first. Elephantine Syene. Let's get that in. Uh, Mothis as well. Nice. Good to see some of these. And also great to see someone come of age. We genuinely haven't had people come of age for quite some time. Probably because uh, we've got so many governors that it's not ha the, the people aren't having any kids. Where's got a really old boy? Anyone old? You're 63. 
Kalonai, that's only 1,800. Probably not worth it. You are 32, even though you look a bit older. Um, yeah, we don't really have anywhere around here. I, again, I probably want to get a few governors in some of these regions. Like, I think we've got one in Jerusalem. I think you should go to Jerusalem. Back up that guy there. So let's get you across to uh, Jerusalem. Not going to take you very long, actually, with the paved roads, which is quite cool. But yeah, like I say, this is a uh, a faction management one again. Uh, but we've got Sparta to deal with and everything still. So yeah, I guess it's... I just... The money disappears because of me just spending money right at the start of the episode. Start of the turn. Um, who would have known, huh? Who would have known? Let's retrain a few of those. They can get gold and stuff now, I believe. A gold and silver. Pretty good. Nice. Uh, Deliche is still recruiting. And then Trelaeus over here. So now we do have all of these boys ready to go. Now where's the ships? Ideally we want the ship there. It's probably the best place. Unless there was... I mean that's Pergamon, right? So yeah, we're not recruiting any, any of the boys in there. Let's get you two. Get on there. And then we'll get these guys from all up here. If it loads. There we go. It's actually quite close at Trelaeus. It's a tiny little region as well. Tiny little region. You're getting those. We did have four regions where we had people. So, we should have a lot of garrison now. Uh, and yeah. That's going to be a lot of garrison. Ready to go, boys. Ready to go. Let's hopefully... Let's get a battle in against Sparta, though, before we finish. That'll be the best thing if we can do, if we can do that. Look at this as well. Sparta has just... Generated loads more troops. So we're going to have to siege this down. <laughs> I don't know where those troops have come from, but they've just generated loads more. I guess it's a Spartan script. I mean, it's fine. We are going to just roll over Sparta anyway. So it's not exactly like it's a problem. Uh, I mean, rams on a, on a city this size will not be worth it. So let's get that instead. And then we've got our construction report, of course. You get back into the port. So, yeah. Sparta should die very soon. Probably, well, in seven turns. That's Diodotus sieging them down. I don't think we can win this. Especially with the time, uh, the time um, considerations. So, yeah. I don't think we can just go and do that. Right, let's get out of Autospana and let's see if we can put two of our Greek hoplites in there. Come on. And both of these places be happy. And like I say, we're going to go straight for Taxilla. We're not going to worry about these other settlements until we've taken Taxilla. Both are happy. Good. So we're going to go straight for Taxilla. Hopefully, I will remember not to make you walk past the city and you'll get stuck. <laughs> I can't guarantee, though. I can't guarantee, guys. I can't guarantee at all. Um, right, then. Oh, there is space for you two. Uh, if I press on the actual city. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? So, let's have a look now. See if we can get out. We do want both our generals out as well. Looks like it's, pl it's plenty fine. Which is surprising because it's... You know... Absolutely backwater. Um, but yeah. This army is fully ruined though. I think we will actually send this army through here. Just to have a bit of fun, you know. Uh, and have a look. And get some of these settlements in the bag. Like, not that they're ever going to be that useful. But they might have a few mines and stuff around there. Which would be great fun uh, for us. So, right. We're going all the way back to Karakata if we can. Oh, it looks like we're going a little sneaky way through the hills. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Right, everything in the north is done. What are these guys? Where are these guys up to? You're going for that one. Fine. That's quite good. Now we've got to sort out all the garrisons here. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Well, sorry about this, guys. <laughs> I know you want a battle. I'm holding out for one. I'm holding out. We might have an epic battle to finish on. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I'm holding out, guys. I'm holding out. Right. So you have a garrison and you're happy. You also have a garrison and you're happy. You're going to, to re uh, relieve 
Antiochus. Well, I think we should probably move out like four of you boys anyway. Uh, so get out. Yeah, 70%. Good enough. And you can like follow this army along. And wherever we need the garrison, you can go. You get up into there and replace the boy. Oh, we could go for the Celtic settlement. If we've got the stuff for it. Which I'm not sure we do. But uh, we can go and have a look. Why is my spy there? What are you doing? Like You're just pointless. Get up here, my friend. Start doing something. Come on, game. Struggles with the movement. <laughs> What's in this settlement, anyway? I mean, they've got good troops in there. But we've got some elephants. But elephants are terrible in, in sieges. Right, well, let's do all our building. So it's out of the way. No, let's not do that. Let's do the battle first. And then we can finish on some nice relaxing building for the boys. Of course. Right. It's also a 0%. They're not happy. And, uh, I mean, they have some very good infantry. We're on fire. And Thracian Noble Cavalry. Two units of those boys. As well as the Thracian Peltasts. And the Tribesmen. But we do have elephants. And we've got mercenary Galatian Warbands. Yes. The greatest of our troops. Also, gold boys. Very nice. Love to see that. I kind of want to just do this battle with the mercenary Galatians. Maybe a couple of the Chalcospedes and the Archers. But let's see how we get on anyway. Let's get on the battle map and see how they're going to defend it. Anyway, I'll see you in a second, guys. Here we are. We are the heirs of Alexander and Achilles. Oh, and we've got the little, um, the purple. Oh, look at this. Looks like some sort of a uh, rave hut. The purple rave hut. What have they been smoking around here, huh? But anyway, let's, uh, I mean, how good do these walls look, man? Don't think we've come up against a like a large Celtic walls before, or a set large Celtic settlement. And it's just a really nice, fresh view of it. I love the um, uh, the the stones here, the Sacred Circle, the High King's Hall, and the Purple Rave Hut, of course. My favourite part of it. Uh, but let's see what they do with their guys on the walls, because oh, you're why are you no save? Come on. You know, you know, I want these on every time we do this, every episode. Um, so let's get our archery boys. Let's try and get you, in fact, up there and maybe up that way. We'll also maybe try and get you to sap. And then the rest of you boys, let's just get you out in a line. See what we want to do. Where's the rest of the archers? Because we kind of want to get them up on the walls ASAP. Uh, I don't want to sap twice because it'll just destroy the rest of the wall. How good were those scythe chariots, by the way? The last couple of episodes. They have been beasts that you can't sap, can you? Oh, great. Where are they? There is a couple of people on the walls. The Peltasts. Peltasts. And Peltasts. Fine. Fine, I don't care about that. Uh, you can't sap either, can you not? Hypastis can sap, sap though. Okay. Well, go and sap. Uh, right then, let's get our let's get these boys over here. Let's get the high pastis over here as well. Don't really want to go up the wall here where we're going to get pelted with arrows. So let's get the rest of the archers ready to get up, as well as the high pastists and the Galatian warband, and we'll go fight those guys on the walls. Hopefully, we can open the gates relatively quickly and easily. Uh, but we won't need to because we've got these guys going through. And then what we'll do, we'll leave the elephants out. We don't want to lose elephants needless, needlessly in a uh, in a siege battle. Uh, they do have good cavalry, the noble cavalry. That's their general there. And we've got to be wary of this Thracian infantry. Look at them. They're so good. They are so good. You guys get up there. Are you getting shot? 
He got shot very little, actually. Let's come forward, then. I want you guys to just take the tower. In fact... Yeah. So I want you guys to get there. Go, go, go. High pastists. Get you up on the walls. In fact, you guys go this way. So let's speed it up. We are still sapping away. The thing is with the Thracian infantry, they should be able to be destroyed quite well by our cavalry because they're not spearmen. However good they are, the cavalry charge should be quite nice against them. Now I just want to kind of get in and t start taking out their cavalry as well. So here go the Peltas. Get going, men. So I know you're not the best units, the Galatian guys. But uh, you are fine. You're not terrible. And we did lose a few high past this on the way. Uh, in fact, you guys now get there. Now we've taken these towers. And the rest of the archers, let's bring you forward. You get there. You get there. And you, I guess, get there. <laughs> That'll be fine. And then when that wall's dead, we'll start charging our cavalry through. Who else do we have with us, though? Well, the other high passes are obviously on the walls. So I think we go for the inexperienced Chalka Speeders. Let's try and get them some experience, get them in. And then we'll try and run rampant with our cavalry. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, this, I this has been a really refreshing battle. I, I quite like this. It's good fun. Fighting the Celts. Not fighting Greeks or Anatolians for once. And, uh, yeah. Fight and or also not fighting horse archers because those are the worst. <laughs> you guys halt now. You should now be able to fire, surely. No. Okay, they are starting to fire. Where are they firing over this way? Oh, they're firing at the wrong fire infantry. That's a good target, my friends. Good target. I like that. These poor Peltasts. Now, we have broken through the walls. So, I don't mind taking a bit of friendly fire. Not friendly fire, just taking a bit of fire from the tower. Right. You, my friend, you have been chosen. You shall assault the walls. Let's go. Straight through. Do, 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 do. Getting Javis thrown at us and everything. Get there. If you can. And then you boys. Let's start coming as well. Let's get there. I think if we get really close to the walls, we won't be able to get shot. Too badly. Thracian tries when taking a bit of a battering. Good. How are we doing up here? Good using the uh, this guy as a bit of bait. They've just taken a load of damage due to uh, either friendly fire, which it could be, uh, or uh, you guys aren't all up yet, or just from the Javis from the Peltas, which I'm assuming it is that. Looks like the uh, Thracian infantry decided to dip. They weren't happy about this situation. <laughs> Come on. Kill them all. Quickly as well. Oh, here come the high pastists. Let's go then. High pastists. Let's get in there. That's what we like to see. Eager men. Ready to fight. Right. Well, you. If you get here, you should have a nice little shot down at the Rom fire infantry there. So get going. Have you still got men coming up? You do have a couple of men, but not too many. You guys... You don't look like you have any men coming up. But I don't know. We'll let them uh, all settle. Speed it up a bit. Okay, they ran. They ran. Fools. Well, what we should do then is get up here. Uh, yeah, get up there. Go through the towers. Chalka Speeders. Let's get you up this way. Now, cavalry time. Let's get you in. And let's see what we want to do. Time to run rampant through the city. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to take out their general. and But I do want to flank these Peltas up here. 
Although they're not that... It's not that useful flanking them. You guys halt. Now you should be able to fire. Surely, come on. Hurry up, guys. Fire. They're all starting to fire now, these boys. Good. Right, cavalry. Let's uh, let's put an end to this foolishness. And uh, where did their cavalry go? Oh, there. <laughs> right, let's just run through the Thracian tribesmen. Uh, and, of course, Aramayas, get your rally. Don't want you to die, my friend. Again, some Thracian tribesmen absolutely ruined them. Just ran through them. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's go this way, then. I know it's a bit messy, but who cares? Right. Let's see if we can get our Chalka Speeders up this way. We'll, we'll cause a distraction, my friends. We'll cause a distraction. All these boys are firing now, which is great. Oh, the wrong fire infantry are dead. That's one unit that we don't need to worry about. Looks like he's not going to react. Probably will react when we actually charge, though. Guys, charge them. That would be good. They are a very good cavalry unit, this. And our charge has been terrible. Go, go, go. Actually charge them, men. Charge them would be good. Rather than worrying about pathing. <laughs> Looks like we are winning, though. So, can't be too upset. Where are those high pastists? Oh, they, they came back. We should be able to easily beat these Peltasts. Yes, good. He's dead. Dead, dead, dead. A deaded. A deaded, deaded, dead, dead. Good. Right. On to the Chalka Speeders. Time to march in, my friends. Guys, 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 guys. Come on. Stop being silly. Stop being silly. Um, fact. Should probably get there first. Right. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't see that coming. Gone for the straight charge. That's what we like to see, boys. Get in there. Up to the rave house. Whoop, whoop. Let's go. Bang. Oh. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Vaporization of the, <laughs> of the cavalry and infantry there. So that's what, that's what they can do. The old uh, Chalka Speeders when when we when they're used head on, they just can't do anything else. That's the problem. They have the maneuverability of a uh, canal barge. But anyway, uh, who you guys have de dealt with them? Ah, we didn't even need the Galatian. You had it all along, didn't you? We just killed everyone. We didn't even need we didn't even need to let them route. We just killed them all. Glorious. <laughs> the Galatian warband doing well. Well done. Any experience? We got some for the Chalka Speeders. Good. Fantastic. Well, great victory against the Celts once again, my friends. I will see you back on the campaign map. Victory! Here we are. Great victory. And uh, Bithynion is now back in Greek hands. Enslave them. Destroy the Galatians. And of course, it is a very Celtic settlement right now. Got the shrine to Ogmios. Cool. I think we'll keep that just for the cultural heritage. Uh, now, there is this army, remember, that absolutely savaged, <laughs> savaged poor Ermias last time. Um, well, not Ermias, actually, the uh, the other guy. So Alketas? And he died in the battle. Um, but yeah, let's go for Rhodes to start with. And then we'll have a look at seeing how we can maybe garrison this region. Uh, any, I don't think there's anywhere around here that can recruit at all. That's a problem. Ooh, spicy. We can re we can leave elephants in there. How about you? I mean, you will actually just about be okay. So, you get in there. Try and get into Bithynian. Now, they're trying to, uh, to ambush, but we can see them because they're right next to a watchtower. <laughs> so, I don't know about that, but fair enough. 
Good try. Good try, my friends. Right. Seems like we've done everything we can do for now. So let's go through our buildings, finally. And we do actually have a lot of money this time, so we can actually spend a bit more. Don't want to be too risque, but we can actually spend a little bit more. Go for the Hippodrome there, just for just just so the people have a bit more to look at. You know, Damascus, Ardbella, got the Academy. Let's go Stables. <laughs> we're just going to be building the same thing everywhere. Uruk? No, we're not. 500 for the Pantheon. Secundus the Builder. You're even better than Anchises. How? How did we have? How do we have such amazing governors? Nine thousand six hundred and ninety-nine here as well. He's a filthy-minded man. Um, but yeah, true Greek. Where are his building? Like this must be crazy amount of building stuff in here. Uh, I've not seen any. Minus fifteen there. Uh, bonus to trade income. So that's forty-five with that thirty percent from great architect. Uh, downright miserly so that's 55 and then surely some of this must give you it because yeah 65 i don't know because it's normally 10,000 so i don't know where that extra bit of <laughs> income is coming from uh, that extra bit of reduction but it must be it might be multi multiplied rather than additive uh but i'm not sure i don't know uh right let's Susa, let's go for that. It's fine. Sagalassos. Sagalassos. Over here. Long way from anything, really. Uh, go for that big temple of Hera. Iconion. Iconion. Let's get the Odeon and Iconion just to make sure. We got oh, large mines in a couple of places. Really good. Should be making... Yeah, we're losing a lot of cash to corruption there. So let's start getting some of that down. Uh, Europos Aragai. Let's go with the Great Agora. Bit of cash. Alexandria Prosphasia. Let's go for the normal Agora. Uh, Nicomedia. Let's go for the Inland Trade Center. So we're getting a few different buildings this time, guys. <laughs> Kizakos gets the stables. <laughs> Adramition should get... It's already getting... Wait, where? Kizikos? Adramition? I don't know how I scroll... Must have accidentally scrolled back up then. Let's go for the market and Adramition. Alexandria Troas. Let's go for the practice range. Uh, Raithu got the governor's chambers. Fantastic. Let's go for the staples. <laughs> Ladokia Lycos. Where are you? Let's go for those river ports. They're always very good. Uh, Ladokia... Katakokamene, or whatever the hell <laughs> you say. Uh, let's go for the stables, but we need happiness here. So it's probably worth just going for that large temple of Hera just for now. Uh, and now as a boss is already building, good. Antiochia Meandros, let's go for the stables, of course. Ladokia Libanos, let's go potentially for... They need happiness, so they get the shrine to Havistus. Seleucia Pereria. Let's go for that dockyard. Like I say, we can spend a bit more money. Sariesa. Let's go for the Great Agora in there. Because that is getting richer. Definitely getting richer a lot of this region. Ardhapa. Let's go for the stables. Bertha. Again, stables. Even though... Although, do you have corruption? No, you have no corruptions. That's actually pointless. Let's go for the Great Agora. Makes a decent amount of cash as well. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, Caropolis Caducia, you definitely must have a lot of corruption, <laughs> my friend. Well, let's go for the crop rotation, get a bit of a population growth in there. Past Guardia, definitely stables time. Uh, Antiochia Medias, again, definitely stables time. Uh, Taioki, uh, definitely that time. And Chalcodon, let's go for the growth. And Isura, Isura. Probably worth the crop rotation as well, because it gives growth and money, so it's always a good option. You know, that extra growth will make you more money over time as well, so it's never a bad option to get the crop rotation. Because even if we look, Kaunos here, like, it's not going to make a huge amount of money. Talking 140, take away, yeah, about 140 with the corruption. But of course, it's an extra half a percent of population growth. And over time, 
that just makes uh, you know uh, this city richer and richer and richer for both tax and trade because they both scale with population as well. So of course it's just better. Like the more population you have, the more money you make. So yeah, it's always good option getting that. Go for stables at Termesos as well. Selge, cool, a new nation in 0.6. Let's go for Agora. Karakazion got the Greek. I think we should start trying to get a few of these places Greek as well. Arsinoclisma. So it's definitely not worth getting a port there. For some reason, these two won't trade with each other. Uh, I mean, let's have a look on here, though. Yeah, it's, it's not trading over uh, over sea at all. It's all land. So no point upgrading that port. So Arsinoclisma. Let's go for the Odeon just in case. Now, Kratis over here on the Delta. Let's go the Great Agora. Got two generals in there, actually, now. Paphos got the stables. Let's go for the Agora. These regions should start getting a bit richer uh, with the more sea trade they get. Naxos as well. I mean, let's see. If I get this paved road... Yeah, it's not making any extra difference to trade because there's no land trade. So, no point in building that there. Let's build the practice range instead, then. Zesis. Let's go. We are Greek here, which is good. Uh, Zesis. Odeon, just in case. You're out in the desert. You might rebel. Um, and then Petra. Let's get the stables trick. Nice. Uh, Ptolemaeus Haramayu. Let's go for the Agora. So, we can get a bit more, a few more expensive buildings and a few more buildings. That are going to make more of an impact long term. So Bostra, Thebes. Let's go for that inland trade center. Let's see how much money that makes. 221. It's not actually as much as I expected. But it's not exactly the richest settlement in the world. Uh, we've also got Delos over here. Let's go for the secret police HQ. Uh, Mothis right in the desert. You are having an upgrade already. Good. Karakata. So we have managed to make you happy for now. You are Greek. 69%. Nice. Um, Karakata, you are only a minor city. So I think we go with the public baths. Then we go with the stables. But we shall see. We'll go for the public baths for now. Tachonko Selkis. Let's go paved roads down here. Definitely worth it. Ariathon. Paved roads as well. Because the paved roads on here, remember, will actually make a difference. Let's make the sewers in Dragorion. We want all those settlements to upgrade because they'll be very rich when they can start actually trading. Let's have a look. How much... Yeah, it's fully 100% Iranian. So we do want to start culture converting all these regions because we do have regions up here now that are Greek that can bleed onto other regions next to them. So a bit of a push and we should be able to get all this region... Um, upgraded. Eumenion. Yeah, stables then, I guess. That's fine. 69% and you're rioting. I mean, not stables then. Let's go for that. Bactria, Zariaspa. Let's go for the population growth. It's already a large city, but get it to huge city. Maruka, the same thing. Ptolemaeus Theron. I mean, paved roads, is that going to make a difference? It's just going to the port. So, get the practice range then. Cesarmos. Let's go. Definitely paved roads here, though. They, they All these ones in Anatolia need the paved roads. Kamana Pontos. Pimo Lisa. Like, all of these, if we can get the paved roads, would be fantastic. Even in Lithurnus Pergos. Just for the extra trade, extra movement speed and everything as well. Uh, Alexandria Caucasia. Let's get the stables for the... Uh, for the, uh, for the law. And then Nymphios did actually get that now. So that should be starting to make some money. And let's get the sewers. Kerasus actually did upgrade. So <laughs> let's get the land clearance. It's had no buildings because it's been part of Rebels the whole time. Auto Spana. Let's go for the stables as well. Pecoras is building. Uh, Auto Spana. Yeah, cool. So you've moved. We've moved... The guys out of there. We've actually not moved anyone else, have we? Uh, down here, really. I don't think. I was just looking at some of the units then. I didn't think they'd been moved. You guys have moved. You guys have moved, actually. Yeah, all of these boys have moved, apart from, like, a couple. 
who will move automatically. Oh, also, we are building in there, aren't we? Good. Fantastic. Well, guys, well, I think we're going to end the episode there. Bit of a uh, campaign management marathon, but some, some of you guys absolutely love that. So I hope you did enjoy the episode, even though there weren't so many battles. Although it was quite a refreshing battle, honestly, taking Bithynion from the Celts. And we might have to go after that army, the one army that destroyed us for revenge for uh, Ermias from his previous, or Alketas' previous defeat uh, on, uh, on there. So yeah, really cool. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, please do like, please do subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.